All right, it is time for Money Matters Monday, and Brian Quinn is a partner with Quinn Estate and Elder Law LLC, which is part of the Securus Circle of Advisors. Always good to talk to you and see good you again, Good talking to you too, Ken. Um, I want to talk a little bit about long-term care, mm -hmm. how we know if we need it, and especially how we can save our home, or can we save our home? Yeah, it's probably one of the more common questions that is I have it? when someone comes in. So oftentimes it's someone that is maybe in, in starting the home health care process or moving into assisted living or even looking at nursing home mm -hmm. benefits. And what they're really saying is if I get to the point where I need to move into a nursing home and I've run through all of my money and I'm ready to qualify for Medicaid, what, what can Medicaid do to my home? Um, it's it, some common knowledge out there is that the home is an exempt asset up to an equity limit that is just shy of six hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars. But uh, also common knowledge is that Medicaid can actually place a lien on your home up to the amount of benefits that they provide you over the course of your lifetime. Mm. So someone is sort of faced with this this problem when they go into a nursing home and the last thing that they have it oftentimes is their home. Sure. Um, they're saying, well, I know that I need to pay my income to the nursing home as part of my copay. Right. So if I want to keep my house, maybe family members can take care of it for mm -hmm. me. But then all they're doing is they're taking care of it for Medicaid to eventually put a lien on the home. And there are things that you can do. I was do. just going to say, because <laughs> now you got everybody freaked out. Yeah. What, <laughs> my, I am anyway, because yeah. you and I talked about this. These are mm -hmm. things that all of a sudden are becoming very real to me in yeah. the past yeah. couple of years. What can we do to, to mitigate this or... or hopefully prevent it from happening well two things first of all there are some different rules for married couples out there so that's a good thing mm. so if you have one uh, member of a couple that suddenly gets sick and is moving into a nursing home there are ways to transfer your house without any kind of penalty lien free from Medicaid nice. to the spouse that doesn't need to go mm -hmm. into the nursing home but a lot of my clients that come to me are single too mm -hmm. so they're um, if you plan far enough ahead, Medicaid does have a period of time where after five years, whatever you've done with your home, especially if you put it into the right type of trust, mm -hmm. they can't touch it, they can't put a lien on it, and they can't force you to sell it in any way as well. And this is not something you can do by yourself. No. You need professional no, help. Absolutely you do. You have a term here, estate recovery. What does that mean exactly? What it means is that Medicaid has the ability to go after anything that you have in your name after you've passed on. Mm -hmm. um, and also if you have something like a home that you have a, as in your name, mm -hmm. when you're qualified for Medicaid, they have the right to go after and try to recover some of the assets that they've paid out or the amount of money that mm -hmm. they've paid out mm -hmm. on your behalf. And they can go after bank accounts, they can go after homes, cars, but the biggest asset Your oftentimes. Your life's work. I mean, yeah. everything you've seen. Exactly. And so planning earlier in the process, especially using an elder law attorney like myself that knows what they're doing mm -hmm. in this area, the earlier the better, um, the more time you give yourself, the more chance you have to save your life's work. Yeah, I, I concern, my concern is there's a lot of people like me, dumb schmucks that go through <laughs> life and just think, well, if I just keep throwing money at the 401k, I'm going to be fine, I'm going to mm -hmm. be fine. And then when you get up, there's all these things to be concerned about, long-term care and health care mm -hmm. and all of this that really is way beyond what any of us could do that aren't educated and experienced with this, which is why we need to turn to somebody like you, I would think. Yeah, and I would say it's not even just an attorney that you should be talking to about these things, but there are a lot of specialized financial solutions that you can go through mm -hmm. as well. The earlier you plan for those, the better. But usually if you combine a good legal planning and good financial planning mm -hmm. together, mm -hmm. uh, which is part of what we try to do with the circle sure. of advisors sure. here, um, then you get the, the best bang That's for your buck. That's the best thing about the circle of advisors yeah. is having all these experts experts in one resource to turn to for all of these different issues that we have to address. <laughs> all right, well, take the stress out of it. Give them a call. If you'd like to get in touch with Securus or an advisor for a free consultation, that's right, a free consultation, give them a call, 636-720-1900 or 800-720-4200. Or on the web, at circleofadvisors.com. And I talked to Chris and he said, no, we don't sit in a circle around you. That would be intimidating. <laughs> that would be bad if, they, yeah. if you walk them and put them in a chair and said, right. that's not the right. way it is at all. <laughs> that's good to know because that's what I was thinking too. <laughs> Gentlemen, thank you very much.